So what we've got here are three principles. We've got the well-ordering principle, which I'll call WO. We've got the principle of induction, and we've got the principle of strong induction. And we're going to show that all these three are equivalent. So probably the easiest one to prove is that um, the well-ordering principle implies the principle of induction. That's probably the easiest one. So then you might say, well, does the principle of induction imply well-ordering? Well, the clearest way of doing that is to show that the principle of strong induction implies well-ordering and that the principle of induction implies the principle of strong induction. And so this is one very classic way of showing that three things are equivalent by going around in a circle, right? Rather than showing that these two are equivalent and those two are equivalent. So another way you can show that three things are equivalent is by showing that these are true if and only if each other, and that these are true if and only if each other. And then you can deduce by going around here and back again that these are true. So this is the other way, going around in circles, and this is a kind of V-shaped way of doing it. And we're going to do this way. So let's start by showing that the well-ordering principle implies the principle of induction. So we're going to show that the well-ordering implies the principle of induction. So what we have to do is suppose the hypotheses of the principle of induction and try and deduce the conclusion using well ordering. So we're going to suppose that 1, P of 1 is true, 2, that for all K greater than or equal to 1, P of K implies P of K plus 1. And we're also going to suppose that well ordering is true. So that means that every non-empty subset of natural numbers has a least element. So we're going to now try to deduce the conclusion of the principle of induction, which is that Pn is true for all n in the natural numbers. And we're going to do it by contradiction. So by contradiction, Um, so we're going to suppose that it's not true, right? So, so we're going to consider the set of all numbers such that Pn isn't true, and and we're going to use we're going to let me start this again. Okay, by contradiction. So suppose there exists some n such that P of n is not true, now consider the set of all n such that P of n isn't true. So now consider S equals the set of all k in the natural numbers such that P of k is not true. Okay? Now, we want to apply the well-ordering principle which says that every non-empty set of natural numbers has a least element. Is S a non-empty set of natural numbers? Well, by this assumption here, we've assumed that there exists some n such that P of n is not true. So this n has to be in our set S. So S is definitely non-empty. So by assumption, n is in S, this n, so S is non-empty. So by the well-ordering principle, it has a least element. So by the well-ordering axiom, S has a least element. Let's call it something. Let's call it, what should we call it? Let's call it capital N. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, so capital N is the least element such that P of N is not true. 
Right? That means that p of n minus 1 is true. But look, that implies that that implies that p of capital N is true. Now we have a contradiction. Okay? So S has a least element capital N. So P of N is not true, but P of capital N minus 1 is true. Right? Because capital N is the least number such that P of N is not true. So if you go one lower, then it must be true. Contradiction, it contradicts the fact that contradicts the fact that P of N minus 1 has to imply P of N. Right? So we're done. We assumed that our result wasn't true, and we got a contradiction. So our result must be true. So, well, ordering does indeed imply the principle of induction. 